Daily Broadside, day 435. Last night I watched Fatal Attraction for like the seventh time in my life. And although a decent movie, there's a few things that I take uh, issue with. Not the least of which is the fact that when he breaks into her apartment and assaults her and then puts the knife down, doesn't end up ending her. Like, what are you doing, man? You've already caught the felony charge. You went over there with a reason. And had you finished the job, then she wouldn't have gone out to your, uh, you know, I, don't remember, I guess they were in New York. I didn't even catch that. You know, your Saskatchewan, uh, Shroon Lake, Scroon Lake, whatever it is, in upstate New York, wherever the heck they moved out of the country. She wouldn't have, like, broke into the house there and y'all had to kill her there. You know, and how big was that house that, you know, you couldn't hear your wife screaming upstairs fighting with your new girlfriend you know you had to wait till the water overflowed the tub which apparently didn't have any kind of overflow system built into it i don't know if that's a thing but i guess maybe those old clawfoot tubs they wouldn't have that but uh it waits for it waits for so long that now it's dripping through the drywall do you know how long it would take water to seep through a floor and then get into the drywall and pool and start i mean he's, he's been there for quite a while and he didn't hear any 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 signs of a disturbance upstairs? How big is that damn house? And I thought it was an odd choice for, uh, what is it, like 1987, I guess, for uh, the daughter to have such an androgynous haircut. Because in the beginning, you don't even know it's a daughter. you like, I don't know if it's a little boy or a little girl. That's, it was an odd choice. Um, I feel like that they they cast the little girl who was, uh, what was her name, Ruby Sue in Christmas Vacation. Clark, uh, we, she's got a tongue. Uh, what is it? Clark, she's got a tongue. Uh, fungus we ain't identified yet whatever that same girl right and uh i guess maybe they maybe they cut her hair after she was cast and she's already locked into the part and then they like the hairdresser like screwed it up and they're like all right we gotta just cut it all off so then she's got this weird looking tomboy haircut that makes her look kind of androgynous so that was just an odd choice but it happened at any rate uh i can't stand these people on the internet that sell stuff and then the people in the comments ask the dumbest questions. You know, you've got like, you're selling a piano, right? Piano, good condition, $100, uh, pick up only. And then people take to the comments, how much is it? Oh my God bless, it's a hundred damn dollars. Will you deliver it? No, it's pick up only. Drive your happy ass over here, pick up the damn piano. I'm not driving this thing all over the tri-state area, that's dumb, you know? And they ask all these stupid questions. And today, I got on some damn site where uh in new in north carolina you can go and uh you can rent one of those though you don't really rent it you just pay to ride on it and it's a uh, it's just a flat rail car with like bike pedals and like four seats it's got a little bit of an electric motor to assist you so you don't have to pedal the whole time because otherwise it's like a, a paddle boat and if you've never been on a paddle boat just save just trust me and don't ever get on a paddle boat that is the worst cardio workout on planet Earth. You're like, oh, look, a paddle boat. This will be fun. You get out there about 30 yards into the water, and you know, this is a horrific experience. And I've rented this damn thing for two hours. So you end up just floating around and hoping you drift back to shore because it's just, it's a horrible experience. And so this is kind of like that. You're on this flat rail car, and you're going down these old defunct tracks and everything. And people are asking just the dumbest questions. I'm all over the comments reading all this crap, and somebody was like, I have so many questions. Does it allow dogs? How are they powered? And so I was like, dogs are powered just like humans. They have a heart that pumps blood throughout the body and the vessels and a pulmonary system that delivers oxygen to uh, all the needed parts. And then a skeletal and muscle system holds it all together. Just being a complete smart ass like I'm prone to be. And then, uh, you know, and people just, they just ask the dumbest questions, but particularly when people are selling things, you know. All you got to do is just read a little bit, and you'll be fine. You don't need to worry about that. And eat the damn crust of the bread. Stop this stupid argument that your parents lied to you about, oh, the crust has more vitamins and blah, 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 and all these people. And anytime I'd go over to somebody's house and, like, their mom would make them a sandwich and cut the crust off, I just wanted to hail a taxi and leave because I, I just, you can't trust somebody that doesn't eat the crust of the bread. Because here's the thing. If I, if I cut the, uh, the bread into pieces and then you ate the crust and then you ate the crust and the, the white part of the bread and then you just ate the white bread, you really can't tell that much difference taste-wise. Yes, textures might be a little bit different depending on how they crusted the bread or if it's got like nuts and crap on the outside of it and whatnot. But 
I don't know, man. I just think it's kind of silly to cut your crust off. That's, that's like people that hold their nose when they jump in a body of water. Man, just man up and swim. Damn. Y'all some, some nose plugging, diving, uh, no crust eating, dumbass question asking people in this country. It's crazy. And uh, it just shows your ignorance. I worked with a guy for quite a while and then he retired and left and I saw him probably two years later. And he had taken on the lifestyle of a recumbent bicyclist. Like, oh, that's all he did. Like, I don't know. If it, he might have sold his car and just recumbented. Recumbented. Recum I don't know if that's a verb. He recumbented. He, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But he used his recumbent bike to go everywhere, right? And so I'm at this dang, um, you know, 5K marathon, half marathon one Saturday morning. And he rolls up and I'm like, that's damn. That's Keith. He's on a damn recumbent bike. I talked to him for a few minutes, and I don't know if you've ever had a conversation with somebody on a recumbent bike who doesn't get off the bike to stand up. They just lay there. It's very awkward because you're like seven feet taller than that person. You know, it's it's not weird on a beach when you walk up and somebody's laying on a towel and you start having a conversation and they don't get up. But when they're on a recumbent bicycle, it's just very awkward. You know, you want to be like, so how are things going? Oh, they're going good. They're going good. I got, you know, I'm just out riding, you know, and all oh, that's cool. How you been? And all this. And you want to be like, you mind standing up? This is odd. Or do I, should I kneel down? Like, should I take a knee so I'm more on your level? This is an odd conversation. I feel like I have to yell, you know. Uh, but anyway, that's where we're at today in this rainy ass Memorial Day. Kind of hate rain. It, it should just rain just a little bit in the mornings while we're all still asleep and then never rain again. I keep saying it and it never happens. Anyway, if anybody knows where that happens in the world, I'm moving there. Tuvalu, Micronesia, somewhere in Oceania, probably. Nah, it probably rains a lot more there. Giddy up. <laughs>